All right, I'm gonna do a quick video. I got about 30 min minutes here for my lunch break. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions about post well heat treatment. And the question they've been asking me was about the rate of heating, uh, the soaking temperature, the rate of cooling, room temperature, and the formula for figuring out this slope, which is KL divided by LM. And I know this chart, I got this out of baseline data book, but I'm gonna try to explain it to you within this uh, 15 minutes. Uh, so in a lot of my videos, I'm going to be moving them to membership uh, membership link to where I can separate this from my other videos. You know, on my channel, I do a lot of cooking, some turkey legs, collard greens and other stuff. So I'm going to separate this information for members because I know how important this CWI information is, especially the part B. It gets really confusing. So let me explain this to you the best I can within um, within uh, this 15 minutes. So let's go right here. We're looking at this chart right here. This right here from uh, B and C, this right here is called your soak time. So it's your soak time, your temperature. And if you look up here, this is your X axle, which is dealing with temperature. And down here is your Y. So in these temperatures is going in increments of 20 degrees Celsius. We're dealing with Celsius on this one. I'm gonna show you one on Fahrenheit also. And this right here dealing each line is 30 minutes increments. So I'm gonna zoom into this and show you what I'm talking about. Look look at this right here. So you got four, and that's 4X, so that's 400 degrees Celsius. So if you count this line, one, two, three, four, that's five times 20 is 100, so that's 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600. So that's how you deal with this. And this right here, these lines right here on your uh, Y axle, you're dealing with each line is 30 minutes. So from 10 to nine is an hour. From 10 to nine to this line right here is an hour and a half. From 10 to eight is two hours. So let's figure this out. I'm gonna show you how this works. Say for instance, I know this chart is hard to read and uh, in their book is it's hard. So this is, I think it's uh, RQP right here, but I'm gonna show you how you do this. Let me move this down. So if we're looking at this line right here and we can deal with the small increments. We're going to deal with this right here to right here. So we know right here from here to here is half of the 30, which is 15 and 15 is a quarter of a hour. So 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So if we're dealing with this, we're dealing with that's four, 400. 420 as 40. So we got two lines. So we're dealing with 20, 40. So let's pull out the calculator. So here go how you figure out the, um, the rate of cooling. So you remember we said 40 is gonna be divided by 0 0.25. So we're gonna clear this. Going 40 divided by 0 0.25. That's a quarter of an, an hour equals. So that's 160. So the rate of cooling is 160. And I'm gonna show you right here, the formula, 160. So we had 80 divided by half, and half is 0.5. So you multiply that by two, 80 times two, so you get 160 degrees. And let's look at the rate of heating. We'll look at this one right here, the rate of heating. Um, and you got, L. this is a K, that's L. M and L. Okay, here we go. So this right here is called the rate of heating. So what you want to do is go right here, looking at the chart, and it doesn't matter. You don't need to see the number up there anyway. So we're dealing with one, two, three, four. Four times 20 is what? Is 80. So we're going to pull up our calculator. Um, we got 80 divided by what? So that's 80 divided by from here to here, like I said, increments of 30. So 30 is a half an hour. So divided by 0.5. There you go. You get 160. And you, now this right here is uh, B and C. And you know we're going in increments of 30. So from here to here is 30. Now we're dealing with time. We're dealing with soak time. So 30, add another 30. That's an hour, hour and 30 minutes, two hours, two hours, and 15 minutes. So the soak time is two hours and 15 minutes. I don't see, it's not on here, but that's how you calculate your soak time. 
So again, that's 30, an hour, hour and 30, two hours and 15 minutes. Okay, let's go to Fahrenheit. Let's look at another chart. And this, I think it comes out of the real education. And it's pretty much similar, but they got their X and Y axles different, just as long as this line right here is running parallel to the time, which is your time. And this one right here, they dealing with time in minutes. So that's 100 minutes, two, three, 400 minutes. So we know 60 minutes is in an hour. And then you're looking at this line right here. You got temperature 200 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 400. So each one of these lines should be worth 50. So that'll be 250, three, 354. So let's, let's look at something here. We want this slope right here, which we, which is the rate of cooling. Let's figure out the rate of cooling for this right here. So we'll zoom in onto this. Let's see what square we're going to, we're going to deal with, um, let's see, let's deal with this one right here. Say for instance, this, no, we're going to deal with this one. It's a little better right here. So we know that right here. So now we need to do the increase of temperature. So we know in this square right here, it goes up and touch this line right here, which is 450. So 450 minus 400 is 50. Okay, so now we're going to take 50 divided by what time? From here to here, it's going to increments of 20. So 20 is one third of an hour. So here go how we do it. We take 50. And we know one third, one divided by three is point. We're going to just do it. One divided by three equals point three, 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 three. Threes keep going on. So here we go. So we're going to take right here to right here. We're going to take 50. Divided by point three 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 equals there you go 150 so the rate of cooling is 150 the rate of cooling now let's do the rate of heating so we're looking at this line right here we're dealing with this square so we know we're going to deal we're going to divide by 20 or divide by point three 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 so now we got to find out this we know this is 50 from here to here 50 and we're looking about another 15, so we're looking at 65. So you take 65 divided by 0.333333 equals, so there you go, your rate of heating is 195 degrees. 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're dealing with Fahrenheit. So the rate of cooling and the rate of heating is different. So now we want to deal with time. So how long you gonna soak it? So we're dealing with, that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we know 100 minutes is an hour and 40. So we know an hour is 60 minutes plus 20 and 20, which would be 40. So an hour and 40 minutes. So that's how you figure out the chart. I hope this video helped and it wasn't too confusing. And I'm gonna take these videos and I'm gonna put them in a members only. So it'll be helpful to join that membership. And I'm gonna break down a lot of this stuff for you guys, cause I can't find no decent videos out here explaining. Sometimes I get in too many details and all of that, but it's really simple. All right, like if we looking at this right here, we know that from 600 to 800 is 200 minutes. Okay, three hours is 180 minutes. So if you add another 20 minutes, that's 200. So you're looking at three hours, you're looking at three hours and 20 minutes for your soak time. So that's how you calculate this. Like I said, this is one, two, three, four, five. You're looking at 100 minutes, so six, one hour and 40 minutes. And right here, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times 20 is 200 and 60 minutes so 300 180 is three hours plus 20 so you're looking at three hours and 20 minutes and you can figure this slope out right here if you want to it's real simple so like i said i'm gonna take this video down probably from here and move it over into my memberships for you cwis because i know how important this stuff is especially it's part b it can be really confusing but sometimes you got to just simplify things and and there you go don't overthink it all right I got to go back to work. Don't forget to subscribe, like, turn on your notifications and share this video. Also leave comments. Thanks for watching, welding and stuff.